Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. In this week's lesson, I wanted to go over three of the most common and most popular styles of mandolin. Um, I get a lot of questions about the different styles and how they sound, so I just wanted to do a quick little mandolin tasting for you all, so you can get a sense of how I like to use these different mandolins, the general different sounds I think that uh, they're good for, and also just to give you a little sound test. So, we have the mandolin that you see most on my channel. This is a modern A-style F-hole, so round pear shape, uh, F-holes. Uh, modern mandolin built by Tom Ellis in Austin, Texas, uh, built in 2009. Number two, we have this old Gibson A-style mandolin with an oval hole. Uh, so this was built by Gibson in 1924. Uh, again, same pear-shaped body, um, oval hole rather than F-hole. And the third kind of mandolin that you'll often see is the Bullback Mandolin, often associated with classical music, but also played in old time music back in the day. Um, so this is a slightly different shape. It's got a little bit of like a cantilevered top, so there's a little angle here right where the bridge sits. Um, and of course, the defining factor is this Bullback made up of a bunch of thin strips of wood, often called a tater bug Mandolin. This was built by Vega in probably around the turn of the 1900s. So going oldest to newest, we have the Bullback Mandolin. Originally would have been made in Italy. This one was made in the United States. Uh, would have been used for classical and is still used for classical uh, mandolin repertoire. And also gets used in old time music. There's some old uh, pictures of old time musicians where you'll see them playing these old bullback tater bug style mandolins. Um, really cool sound. I'll get to playing them in just a second here. Next up, we have from the early 1900s, a Gibson oval hole mandolin. So it's carved top and back like my Ellis, um, but it has an oval hole. I love using this mandolin for old time music as well as for Irish music. There's something nice about the round sound of the oval hole mandolin that I think really suits that music very well. It doesn't have the same projection and sort of uh, percussive chop that an F hole mandolin will have, but it's a really beautiful voice and I look forward to playing this one for you. Last but not least, we have my Tom Ellis A5 mandolin. So carved top and back like the Gibson, uh, but F holes, which gives it a little more focus, um, a little more percussive when it comes to chopping. I play all sorts of music on this instrument. Um, you see me play it every week here on the channel. Um, again, a modern instrument, 100 years uh, younger than the, the Vega Bullback and 80 something years or I guess almost 100 years on the Gibson as well. And uh, I think it's a, a great mandolin. It really excels at bluegrass, but it also is great for old time and Irish music and Scandinavian music, you name it. I love playing it on this mandolin. Without further ado, I'll play some tunes on these instruments for you back and forth so you can get a sense of how they sound similar, how they sound different. I'm gonna be using the same pick on all three, which is not necessarily how I would play them all, but figure I'd take that one variable out of the equation. They are strung differently. This one has medium heavy strings on it. The Gibson has medium strings and the Bullback has light gauge strings.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little mandolin shootout. Uh, it's not a perfect test by any means. There's so many variables when it comes to various mandolins, uh, the styles, the builders, the age of the instrument, all that stuff. But I figured this would give you a little sense of how an F-hole mandolin, a carved top F-hole, uh, compares to an oval hole carved top mandolin, compares to a bullback mandolin. Those are often the three different um, most common mandolin styles that you'll see. Of course, there are many other styles out there. So I hope this helps uh, narrow things down a little bit for you if you're looking for an instrument um, and helps you figure out what sound you enjoy the best. Because that's ultimately what it's all about is your own personal preference in what you like to hear and what you like to play. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new lessons every single week, and there's tons of lessons here on the YouTube channel as well as mandolessons.com. Have a good one. See you soon. Bye-bye.